Hello, mathematicians! Mrs. Blackburn here. Today, we are going to be talking a little bit about mass. We're going to be focusing on grams and kilograms to be specific. Let's start off by talking a little bit about mass. You might be thinking, Mrs. Blackburn, I don't have any idea what you're talking about. What is mass? I'm so glad you asked that question. Mass, I like to think of the word massive. Have you ever heard anybody describe something as massive? I'm thinking of an elephant. An elephant is massive. So an elephant is very, very large. It has a lot of mass to it. Let's think about a feather. Would you describe a feather as massive? Definitely not. So it does not have a lot of mass. So that's how I remember mass. So let's apply that here to grams and kilograms. When I'm looking at grams and kilograms, the first thing I notice is that the word grams is smaller than the word kilograms. So that's another way I kind of remember grams is something that is smaller than a kilogram. Kilogram has the word gram in it, but it's a longer word. So it's actually got more mass to it than grams does. So what I want to do today is show you what the difference between a gram and a kilogram are. So I have found some things around my house to show you. We're going to focus a little bit more on grams today, but I just wanted to give you a visual of the difference between the two. So the first thing, let me show you this first thing that is about a gram. Hmm, can you see this? It's a small paper clip. Would you say this has a lot of mass or a little bit of mass? I'm saying just a little bit. It is so teeny tiny. One way I remember this too, have you ever eaten a Teddy Graham? Very small, just like this. It's not very big. Another thing I found around my house, I found this bracelet. Do you see these little blue beads? Those are about the size of a gram. They're not big at all. You want to see something that's about the size of a kilogram? Hang on. Oh, jeez. I got this out of my son's room. He's been reading a little bit about Greek myths. This book, it's kind of heavy. It is much, much larger than this paper clip. So notice, grams are small. Kilograms, ugh, they're kind of giant. They're big. So when you are going around and you are trying to find things and you're trying to determine, is this a gram or is this closer to a kilogram? If it is something that is small, it's a gram. If it's something that's much bigger or kind of giant, that is a kilogram. I have a challenge for you. I want you to go all around your house, around your room. I want you to see if you can find five things that are about the size of a gram, not a kilogram, of a gram. And I want you to see if you can tell me five things that are the size of a gram. Can you do it? I think you can. Happy hunting, mathematicians. Bye.